Hi, so in this video I'm going to be creating a UEFI Windows 8.1 USB boot disk. So you could do this for a thumb drive, a USB thumb drive, or a portable USB hard drive. So you'll be needing at least an 8 gig USB drive and you should download 7-Zip which is a very capable unzipping and zipping tool and extracting the files either from your DVD or an ISO file. I'll be extracting it from an ISO file, the install files. So um, you'll, you'll also be partitioning the USB thumb drive and you could skip this step uh, if you're FAT formatted to FAT32 already or if um, you know that it can boot off of that file system. And then uh, just copying the necessary files. So the first thing I'm going to do here is go to my ISO file here and I'm going to extract it using 7-zip. So if you don't have 7-zip you could download it from here. I'll have, the, oh, I'll have all of these instructions in the description section. So I'll be extracting these files into this folder. So you'll notice it'll be extracted into this folder. And while it's doing that, I am gonna partition my uh, thumb drive. So I'll go to Programs, Accessories, Command Prompt, right click and run as administrator. And typing in disk part, which is the program name. And I'll, I'll be typing in these series of commands. So you'll see the first thing I'm going to do is list the disk. So make sure you get this right because you don't want to delete the wrong disk or format the wrong disk. So here I know that my 8 gig USB thumb drive is the 7.633 megabyte one, uh, which is disk 3. So I'm going to say select disk 3. Make Definitely make sure you're selecting the right disk. You do not want to uh, select the wrong disk here. And I'm going to say clean, which is going to be um, removing all the partitions. So next thing I'm going to do is create the partition, the primary partition. And that's successful. I'm going to select the first partition, the one that I just created. I'm going to make it active. And again, all of this commands is going to be in the uh, description section that you could cut and paste. And now I'm going to be formatting the file system. So after that, I can exit out of this. And you'll see that the files for my ISO is almost extracted. So the files are done extracting. There's one more thing that I did forget to do, which is to assign the new disk partition a number or a, a letter. So I have to go back to disk part. And if I list disk, I'm going to select my last one again, disk 3, and I have to say assign. Oh, I have to select the volume, so I'd be selecting partition 1, and I say assign. So you'll notice it was assigned the uh, G drive here. So I'm going to bring that up. And you'll notice here's the G drive, which is my USB drive, and I'll be copying all of the files from my I ISO folder that I just extracted into my USB thumb drive. So while that is copying to my thumb drive, I'm going to put this additional step here. Assign. And after a couple of minutes here, while that's copying, I'm going to go into the EFI folder because that looks like it's done copying. And you notice there's a Microsoft folder here. So under the Microsoft folder is a boot folder and I should be copying all of these and I, I really should wait until this is done 
uh, copying all of the files onto the USB drive before I do this. But since I notice here that all the files are already copied, uh, uh, for the sake of making this a uh, video short, I am going to copy the files here. And this is the final step that I'm doing here. Go into my boot folder. And you'll notice the boot x64 files are already there. So I'm going to paste the files I just copied, which is the last step here. And the, the reason why I should wait is because now I'm just uh, copying things simultaneously onto a slow USB drive. So, but after, after this, just wait until all the files are done and you have a bootable uh, master boot record disk and also a UEFI disk. And uh, I tested this on, again, about nine desktops and laptops and they all worked. So, um, you know, hopefully this is the same results you will get and uh, thank you for watching.